Work planes allow you to draw using different coordinate systems in TurboCAD. So you can visualize what is going on, I will be sure to have the work plane displayed at all times during this video. The red dashed rectangle represents the work plane. When using two-dimensional drawing tools, you will always draw on the current work plane in the X and Y directions, no matter what the current view is. So if I draw a circle from a side view, it will simply look like a straight line until I switch to a view that can display it properly. To draw a circle flat on the side view, I would have to switch the work plane to do so. Three-dimensional drawing tools treat work planes as a coordinate system and allow you to draw in the X, Y, and Z directions. Although the coordinate system does not change with your view, drawing in 3D can be a bit confusing unless you pay close attention to the coordinate fields or snap to other objects. The Select tool has two separate modes to properly deal with work planes. The relationship between 2D and 3D objects and the work planes is different depending on which select mode you are using. Selecting 2D or 3D objects with the 2D Select tool changes the drawing's current work plane to that of the selected object. Once the object is selected, it can be moved in the XY direction and rotated along the X axis of the object's work plane. Selecting an object in 3D mode allows you to move objects in any direction and rotate along any axis. Since objects are always flat on the work plane in the XY direction, Moving and rotating objects in 3D mode will change that object's work plane accordingly. You can see this by switching back to the 2D selector. As confusing as work planes and coordinate systems can be to new users, they are extremely useful, and once you get the hang of them, the concept is actually very simple.